Hello everyone. Now we will start with our new topic as a part of a map programming. Our new topic is string operations. Now, firstly, what is string? A string is a collection of characters. You can pass any number of characters if a data object is of string type. Now we already covered we have three types of data types elementary complex and reference and string string is of which data type string is elementary data type string is elementary data type and we already covered elementary is further of two types fixed length variable length and string is fixed length or variable length string is of variable length so string is an elementary data type of variable length why we are saying variable length because it can take any number of characters suppose if i am passing 10 characters it will automatically calculate the length at the runtime. Suppose if I'm passing 20 characters, it will automatically calculate the length at the runtime. So length is variable. So string is a collection of characters. It is an elementary data type of variable length. What do you mean by elementary data type? It means we will not create this data type. We will only, only use these data types. So now we will start with the topic string operation. This is the whole understanding of string. Now we will go for all the string operations one by one. And we will start with the first string operation that is concatenate. Now what is concatenate? Word itself is saying with the help of concatenate, you will concatenate the strings. You will combine the strings. You will combine the individual strings into one final string. You will combine the individual strings into one result string. So this is our first string operation, concatenate. We will do the practical first. Then we will read this particular syntax, which is mentioned in the slide. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will create a program. There we will do the practical of all the string operations one by one. So I'll give the title ZPRG underscore string underscore operations. I will click on to create button. I will give some title to the program. Demo on string operations. I will choose the type as executable program because we will check the output. We will run the program. We will execute the program. I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program. First keyword is report. It means it's an executable program. Now what I will do, firstly, we will declare the individual strings or I will declare the individual variables. I will declare a final variable. Then we will apply the concatenate operation. So firstly, I will declare individual variables. How you can declare through data? It's a keyword, so I put tab. I will use chain operator. Suppose my name of the first variable is LV underscore input one. I will give the length. Suppose n type C. Type is character. So character is a elementary data type. Value. Suppose I'm giving the value welcome. Now I will not end. I will declare like another variable also because I already use the chain operator. So I can combine the multiple statements. LV underscore input to 10. 
type C value. Suppose I'm saying two. I will declare third variable input three. Type C. Suppose I'm saying welcome to home. So I declare three individual strings which I will combine. So now I have to declare a final variable also in which the result will go. So I will declare a final variable and you will get a learning here. I'm declaring a final variable LV underscore output and I'm saying type is string and I'm putting dot. String, string is a elementary data type of variable length. Have you seen? I have not given any length here because it will automatically calculate the length at the runtime. If you will try to give the length to a data object, which is of string type, you will get a syntax error. It will clearly state tell you that you cannot go for length specification in case of string because it can automatically calculate the length at the runtime. So we declare three individual variables and we declare one final variable. I'll check the syntax. I will activate. Now we will go for the syntax or I will apply the first string operation, how to concatenate the individual strings. So if I want to concatenate the individual screen, the keyword is concatenate. I used tab, but is first variable LV underscore input one. But is second variable LV underscore input two. But is third variable LV underscore input three. I will combine these three into one final, into one final variable, or I will say final string. So what is our final variable name? LV underscore output. So I will write lv underscore output. Now I will put dot because my statement has ended. The result of these three is going into this final one. So if I want to display the output or if I want to display the result, how I can display through write. So I will use the write tab. I will use suppose chain operator. I will write the result is comma. I will write LV underscore output. I'm putting dot at the last. I will use colon here so that we can clearly understand. I will activate the program. Now we combine the individual strings into one final string. Now we are displaying the final result. So for the better understanding, I will show you in debugging mode. Those who don't know debugging, just learn some few things at this point of time. How to put a breakpoint. Desktop 3 is most preferable. If you want to see the values, just double click. So we have three individual variables having these values and LV underscore output is blank as of now because this line has not executed yet. This statement has not executed yet. Now I am doing F6. Now you can see these three where these three, these three data object values are combined into this final. So now if I'll see the final result, you can see welcome to home. Now customers sometimes ask that I want a separator. I want a separator between the individual strings whenever you are combining. So we can pass the separator. Suppose welcome slash to slash home, welcome dot to dot home. So we can pass the separator also. So how you can pass the separator? We have a keyword separated by. It is a keyword. Suppose I want to put dot 
dot is the separator. So whenever it will combine, it will use the separator as dot. So if I will run, you can see welcome dot to dot home. Suppose I will go for slash. I can use slash also. Suppose if I will activate, you can see the output is welcome slash to slash home. So what we studied in this topic or what we studied in this particular video, we studied string is a collection of characters. It is a elementary data type of variable length. And we covered the first string operation concatenate. We combine the individual strings into one final string. If I will relate it to the syntax, which is mentioned in the slide, concatenate is yes, concatenate. We have individual strings. We have individual strings. We into into is the keyword. We are combining into final string. We are combining into final string separated by separated by and we gave the separator. We gave the separator. It can be dot slash comma anything. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will start, we will go for further string operations.